Hi, today we're going to talk about female genital mutilation, and we have Hanan Kahiro in, in studio with us. Um, could you tell us a little bit about uh, FGM, as it is called, and first of all about yourself? Yeah, my name is Hanan Kahiro. I work for Tronem Commune. Female genital mutilations is a very serious practice. It's quite old as well. It's conception of the understanding between traditions and religion is very confusing. Okay. Uh, it's a common perception that uh, FGM is related to religion, uh, especially Islam, but actually studies show that it is uh, pre-Islam, it's pre-religion. Do you know anything about that? Uh, when it comes to Islam on the stronghold of gentle mutilations, Yes, we have a lot of a lot of female who are Muslims, mm -hmm. but it's not very clear because regarding female genital mutilations, it's not so clear in Quran, but Hadith, mm. Hadith is not in the Quran, but it's it's, uh, it's some short stories about Prophet Muhammad, mm -hmm. and of course the interpretation of female genital mutilations in Islam has been wrongly misinterpreted. Mm. Could you tell us a little bit, why do you think they do this? Why has this practice uh, thrived for so many years? I think uh, if you try to look, see the country that preferred practice female genital mutilations, you see a lot of things, a lot, a lot of facts. Low education in female. Mm -hmm. The practice is mainly done to control female sexuality. At the same time, to also deprive them from power, empowerment. I think females or women who live in those countries, they do not understand the consequences mm -hmm. of what they are doing. It's a tradition that has been passed on, and it has not been so clear mm -hmm. what purpose. The health care has not been so clear mm -hmm. regarding the practice. And that's where you come in. And that's why I come in. And, you're, uh, and how do you uh, deal with this, with families, or what's your role in all this? Uh, I think uh, it's very important to enlighten people mm -hmm. because uh, the practice actually is about attitudes. And to enlighten people to understand what consequences that come along is one of the key issues. Mm -hmm when this practice is regarded. Could you tell us a little bit about these consequences, the health risks that are involved when a girl has been circumcised? We do have long and short term consequences. Mm -hmm. The long terms are very serious. Mm -hmm. So also the short term consequences. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of uh, pain and we have to understand that the circumcision of female genital mutilations is done without anesthesia. Mm -hmm. The act is quite brutal and very sadistic. Okay. And there's a lot of short, the short effect of uh, female genital mutilations. There's a lot of pain, mm -hmm. blood loose, mm -hmm. infections. Mm -hmm. And for instance, if you're not so lucky, you could also have a contract HIV. Okay. Because the group that is going through the ritual, this is a passage of ritual, mm -hmm. as, con as people get confirmed in Norway. Mm -hmm. This is a very important ceremony for, th for the minority mm -hmm. who are dealing with these problems today. Mm -hmm. They must go through this process mm -hmm. to be a part of the community. Okay. Um, the government has come up with a four-year plan to, to deal with this issue. Um, among minorities living in Norway. Do you know anything about this plan and how do they intend to implement any changes? Uh, that's a little bit difficult to have an insight because the plan is not quite clear, mm -hmm. especially for me as a worker, okay. because attitudes <laughs> need time to change. Sure. Four years' time is a very short time. Yes. And I also have a strong feeling that to be able to change the, pra the, pr the, the practice of circumcision, mm -hmm. 
it should not only be done in Norway. Mm -hmm. Because with more globalization, mm -hmm. we are going to have more cases. Okay. And if you truly ask me, I'd like to have this taken so far to Geneva Commission. Okay. I think it should be viewed like torture because it's a very serious, serious mm -hmm. practice. 